They tell me don't forget where you came from I regret what I came from In my old hood Looking like I got a vest on me I'ma keep on winning You should place your bets on me I could open up a bakery But get on me Walking through the mall I got a check on me Designer look the best on me I got lots of pressure Lots of stress on me Independent I got people that depend on me Knew you was a fake You can't pretend on me What I used to spend on you I spend on Bitch. 3 a.m. I'm getting backwards like a average. All this money turned me to a savage. My life was better when I didn't have shit. Do you know how I feel? Feel alone. By myself, I also feel like I know. Driving by myself, ain't got nowhere to go. I just took to 30s, now I'm in my zone. Are you really here for me? I don't know. Are you. LOM community, what's good? What's going on, lockout men in the truck? What's up, what's up? First, before I get started, I want to tell you guys to like, subscribe, share, share the video, and hit that bell on the way out the door. What's going on, y'all? Truck talking chill time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this, is a, this might be a quick video. Maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know. But um, I just want to come on here and let you guys know what's going on in the trucking game, man. A little bit of trucking news. Never speculate what another truck driver is thinking when you confront that truck driver for anything. You hear what I'm telling you? New drivers, old drivers, veteran drivers, all drivers. Yo, y'all don't know what we're thinking when y'all come and mess with us for whatever reason. You just don't know what's in these head. You don't know what you're messing with. Let me tell you about a particular driver that shot eight times at a driver. I'll tell you about that in a minute. All right. Man, I tell you, I'm telling y'all, there's different types of truck drivers out here, man. There, there's a lot of different types of truck drivers out here. Man, you got your, you got your cowboy, you got your highway cowboy, left lane gang, CB bandit, social media tough guys. You got a whole bunch of different truck drivers out here that you're encountering every day, man. You just don't know which one you're going to you're gonna run up against. But I will tell you this much, I'll tell you this much. This trucking game is a small world. Y'all see? It's a small world right here. Very small. There is gonna be one point in time that we will come together. I talk about truck driver safety all the time, but what about safety from other truck drivers? This YouTube has opened up a lot of greasiness it really has but this this truck talking chill ain't about that it's about this young lady that uh that shot up at a dude at this truck stop man this north carolina woman accused all right let's say accused because we don't know but she's accused of shooting a man at a love's truck stop why though why, young lady? Why did you shoot at this dude? Did this dude harm you? Did this dude threaten you? Did this dude uh, came at you sideways? No. Nah. Here's what the report says what happened. Ashley Denise Hellman, Hallman, sorry, 30 of Concord, North Carolina. Man, what's up with all these women coming out of North Carolina, man? There's a lot of... There's a lot of females that I have encountered that is from North Carolina, man. Where are y'all? How come y'all not up in the Midwest with me, up in Ohio, up in Indiana, up in Chicago? But all y'all down in North Carolina, man, I'm just saying. She is charged with terrorist threats, harassment, simple assault, and reckless endangerment of another person in an incident which occurred at 7.30 p.m. on January 30th in the parking lot of Love's Truck Stop 
on Vine Street. Now this happened last month, but it's, it's, a re it's relevant now. Cause like I said, I talk about truck driver safety. Why she shot at this dude? Let's find out. Hellman fired an estimated eight gunshots at a man who told her, get this, she was blocking traffic by parking illegally in the lot with her commercial vehicle. So in other words, she either was blocking the fuel island because that's where most of the incidents always happen in the fuel island where her and another truck driver occurred. So I'm assuming dude must have got greasy with her. Like, yo, come on now, you gotta move. You gotta get out the way, I'm in a hurry. Come on, B, then that B word slips out. And she is black, so that black could incorporate with the B, could incorporate with the other word, you know what I'm saying? You mix all those words together that already triggered. Hey, no, nah, you don't talk to me that way, boy. And boom, boom, boom. Police arrested Hellman at the scene. The search of her person uncovered a Taurus 9mm pistol, which was in her waistband. Now, see, that's where she was wrong, right there. You don't put the gun back in your waistband, especially if you're going to stay at the scene. What you should have did was put the gun on the seat or put the gun, yeah, put the gun on the seat or in the truck and had the... Uh, had the cops come and let them know where the gun is at. The gun was loaded with seven rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber. Yo, this chick ain't playing. One in the chamber? Oh, I keeps one in the chamber. And I keeps one in the chamber in case you ponder it. Woo! She ain't playing. According to police now, an additional magazine loaded with 12 more rounds of ammunition was found on him in this well. Two spent casings or two nine millimeter shell cases was found in the area where the victim and witnesses told police Hellman was shooting. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. We, we all need to protect ourselves. We do get a little greasy at times. There are times that we, that we probably woke up on the wrong side of the bunk. Probably got some bad news at the house. Probably mad at the, at the fleet manager for the runs that they giving us. But you gotta think before you pull out that gun because if you pull out that gun, you better use it. And when you do use it, 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 it better be for protection. It better be for protection because cops, you shoot it up in the air, you're still gonna get arrested for uh, uh, letting off rounds in the, in the public area or in the city area. I don't know what it is, but whatever the case may be, a lot of incidents happen in the fuel island. Look, get your fuel, get your receipts, get gone. Look, truck drivers, we gotta be better with each other. We gotta be 100 with each other. You know what I'm saying? Now there's a lot of greasiness amongst us truck drivers, me included, and one day you're gonna say the wrong words to the wrong person to end up like this young lady right here in a situation that she don't want to be in. So right now she lost her job, she lost her gun, and she she may lose her she may lose her freedom. All because a truck driver got greasy with her. We we gotta do way better than that man. Alright man, you like this video? Like, subscribe, comment share and hit that bell on the way out the door on the way out the door this is lockout man one and hey don't forget the coffees you like this video you like my channel hook a brother up with some coffee man that's what i'm talking about i'm ready to drink I'm gone, I ain't coming back but you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back oh, Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone